Hey there, we have like eons of stories to tell, so if you want to follow us along on this journey and, and keep up with all the stories that we have putting out, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Uh, hope you enjoy. Thank you. Hey, what's up everybody? Chad here, and uh, today we're actually going to be continuing with the Thor God of Thunder storyline. This is basically like his uh, second slash fourth slash sixth encounter with Gore, the way the timeline works in this story, you know, it's still very weird. It's basically like his next meeting with Thor in every version of himself, pretty much. So, um, last we left off, uh, the present day Thor, he was actually on his way to Omnipotent City, you know, he was trying to figure out, like, what's going on with all the guys, you know, all the ones that left, and he realized that he could read up on all of them, you know, at Omnipotent City. So he goes there and he meets the librarian, you know, the librarian, he's talking about how Thor used to run those halls and all that stuff like that when he was younger, you know, he used to run around and stuff, and he basically takes Thor to the Hall of the Lost and this is basically like the hall where um, he could read up on all of the different uh, like inactive gods basically like all the ones that who have who haven't been seen or uh, heard from in you know like hundreds you know thousands of years basically so um what he does he goes to the Hall of the Lost and he starts like reading up on like, every single one of these guys like all of them so what he does he just starts like going like to like search for him he basically like goes to him you know he looks and every single time he goes there every single one of them have been butchered like like ruthlessly they've been like crushed every single one of them and every time he goes to one of them there's gore has got uh black berserkers there and they're all just waiting for him like as soon as he goes there he has to fight every single one of them so um after he does that he ends up getting, getting to this one like like he's like a really big guy and he basically like they they describe him as like a guy that used to like uh like <laughs> he used to like wrestle black holes and stuff like that basically just saying like he's super strong and he's like super big and he basically, you know, he's just like Thor, he's just like, all right, I'm done with this. This is enough. No more of this. And he, like, kills the Black Berserker there, and he, like, takes his head, and he's, like, talking to the Black Berserker, but he's hoping that Gore the God Butcher can, like, you know, like, see through it, you know, like, with, like, some kind of, like, hive mindset. Um, and he's, like, talking to him. He's like, all right, God Butcher, come and fight me, man. Come and see me right now. I'm, I'm done with this. You're, you're killing everybody. Come here now. So, um, with, with him doing that, we get the past, though, right? So Pastor, uh, he would, last we left off with him, he was actually in his uh, his first fight with Gore the God Butcher. He, you know, he was basically uh, getting his 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 tail handed to him. Basically, <laughs> he was getting crushed by Gore the God Butcher. Like he he had no chance fighting Gore. So he was fighting Gore the God Butcher, and um, he ended up calling down this lightning that knocked him and Gore the God Butcher out of the air. You know, it knocked both of them out. So he ends up like waking up inside of one of these like tents. Uh, the the Viking guys that were like with him. They basically uh they they found him and they like picked him up and took him back to the tent you know so he wakes up in there and he's like asking like where's the gore the god but you're like did i get him like is is, is he dead is, is he what, what, what happened to him and they're like talking to him right and he's like uh um, no nah, i mean we we didn't see anyone else there when we were there like was, i'm sorry like was we didn't see nobody else and, you know he's just like okay whatever bring me food bring me drinks and then give me my axe so after that we see him you know he's like walking away you know he's, he's he left right so he's walking right he's walking in the snow and, and he's like, hears someone talking to him, right? He hears someone talking to him, and, and you know, he's asking, who is that? And, you know, he just, like, looks over, and he sees this this god. He's basically on his leg, le last leg. No pun intended, because he actually only has one leg left. <laughs> he only has one leg left. Like, Gore the God Butcher, like, ran into him and, you know, like, beat the crap out of him. You know, he's impaled with this stick. He's missing an arm. He's missing an, a leg. He, he he got dead dirty. And he's basically like, okay, yeah, my name's Hinkin. You know, I'm, I'm God of the Hunt, basically. So, um, Gore, he, he snuck he snuck me. He got he caught me off guard, and, and he actually told me to tell you to meet him somewhere. You know, Gore, Thor, he's asking him, like, where he wanted to meet him at. You know, he says, he, at this cave, you know, just keep following this, this little trail. You know, you'll find a cave. He's in there. So, you know, Thor, he starts, like, you know, he, he's going to this cave, basically. And that's where we go back to present day Thor, right? So present day Thor, at this point, um, he's actually with uh, Iron Man. So what him and Iron Man are doing, he's actually trying to find this cave again. Like he, he actually had Iron Man use some of his technology so he could try to like find it basically, you know, having the satellites, you know, work for him and stuff like that. So um, they're looking for, you know, they end up finding it and, and Iron Man, he's just like, okay, I, what, what happened here, man? You look a little un, un, uneasy, like what's, what's going on? And, you know, Thor, he's just like, I mean, not too much happened, you know, but he's like, he's basically like not trying to talk about it. So, um, so Thor, he ends up like, uh, telling uh, Tony Stark to do something, you know, he's asking him for his help. He's like, all right, Stark, I need you to do something for me, man. I don't know what's gonna happen when I go in here. I don't know if I'm gonna die. I don't know if I'm gonna return, but I need you to do something, okay? Go to Olympus, all right? Tell every single guy there what's going on. Go to the God Butcher. All these guys being, like, murdered, like, tell them all of that stuff. Like, they need to know. 
So uh, Iron Man, he goes off and does that. And Thor, you know, he gets ready to walk inside the cave, right? So, th uh, past Thor and present Thor, they're basically walking in the same cave at two different points in time. Past Thor, he's going there at his very first time. Present day Thor, this is his second time going in there. He already experienced what past Thor experiences. But we're just seeing them both at the same time, basically. So they go in, right? And like, as soon as they get up in there, uh, present day Thor, like he's like, he starts calling his mother, right? Uh, Queen Freya. He's calling his mother. And he's like, you know, like, okay, uh, mother, can you hear me? You know, like, stuff like that, you know, asking if she can hear him. And, like, as soon as, um, like, after he has that, he's like, okay, I need you to, like, get every god that's, like, left Asgard so far. Bring them back. Like, tell them all to come back in. Shut the doors. Get everyone to safety. Like, make sure you don't open doors for nothing. Because it's, it's about to get dangerous. So, he, he's basically, like, you no, know, trying to prepare everybody for a quarter god butcher. And, like, while he's doing that. He actually like uh he hears something right like he hears like this little sound this little prick sound so he like goes over and like like gets ready to swing his hammer and that's where we go to uh past a thor right so past a thor um past a thor he's ready to get up in some he's <laughs> past thor he's ready to get in some business like he he takes off the armor and everything he's calling out for gore to god butcher he is ready to throw hands hammers all that stuff he's just ready to get at it so while he's doing that you know he's talking you know he's like come out uh god butcher where you at you know stuff like that and Gore the God Butcher, he's like, you know, Tana basically, you know, talking about, oh, I know you'd come, I, I, I know you'd come all along, you know, stuff like that. And, um, as soon as Thor gets ready to, like, you know, like, throw his hammer, basically, I mean, uh, his axe, basically, because th this is past Thor, he doesn't have the uh, ability to hold his hammer yet. So this is, uh, Yarnborn, his axe. Uh, he's getting ready to, like, throw Yarnborn, and Gore the God Butcher just, like, swoops him up. He just, like, encases him in, the, in this, uh, black goo. So while all that's going on, while present day Thor and, um, past Thor are, like, in the midst of, uh, fighting Gore the God Butcher, basically, uh, old man Thor. Old man Thor, since the last video, or the first video, he's been fighting these black berserkers. He's just been going at it with them this entire time. Like, ever since the first video and the second video, he's just been throwing hands with them. But eventually, uh, at this point, they finally were able to, um, to, like, contain him. He's, he's just been swept up by the black berserkers. So, um, present day Thor, he actually, he, he, like, finds who the person is. You know, he's talking to him. He's like, God Butcher, yeah, no more running, man. Like, you, you, you me and, we, we about to settle this now. And, like, when he gets there, he actually finds out it's not Gore the God Butcher. Right, it's some other guy. He's just, you know, he he asked him like who this guy is, and he's like, oh, I'm just hiding, man. That this, I'm just hiding just cause like that's all I can do now. Like I knew he wouldn't come here again, so, you know, I'm, I'm gonna just hide here. You know, he, whatever you did to him last time, he didn't like it, so he's not coming here no more. I'm just, you know, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna hide here basically. So um, uh, with that happening, uh, present day Thor, uh, past Thor, he gets swept up. You know, he just got swept up, and uh, old man Thor, all. Both old man Thor and past Thor both just got uh, incapacitated. They're both out of the out of commission basically. And present day Thor, he's with this um this little new alien god thing. <laughs> All right, so um so old man Thor, he just got incapacitated. You know they pick him up. You know he he they're like taking him like up these stairs or whatnot. Like they're, they're basically they're all in Asgard still. And like as soon as he opens his eyes, he realizes he's back on the throne. Like he's basically like talking about how Gore the God Butcher, he's just been beating old man Thor like endlessly. Like like since since he met him at Asgard, he's just been beating him. And like he will not let this guy die for nothing. Every time he beats him, he resets the day. Like he just goes takes him back to the uh, to the throne. Thor comes out again. They do the same thing over and over and over again. Um, so with that going on. Present day Thor, he's talking to this um, to this little alien, right? And he's like asking what his name was, but he's basically saying that he was um, his his name is uh, Shadrach, right? And he's basically like, you know, talking about he's the god of like wine and waterfalls, basically. And like he's like asking him uh, like about you know all this different stuff. And like Shadrach, he's like telling him um, like I mean yeah like well, I've met Gore, yeah he he came he killed every single one of my pantheon, every god that I knew, all of my friends, all this stuff. He murdered all of them. And he didn't even let me like look away. He like he literally cut my eyelids off so I couldn't look away. I literally had to watch it. So basically like I ended up um like running away like while he was killing one of my friends, you know, stuff like that. And Thor he's just like um like trying to get this guy to, you know, protection. So he's basically like asking him if he wants to go back to Omnipotent City with him. So um he's like, I mean, okay, yeah, but you gotta uh, we gotta find cronuts basically, you know, stuff like that. And um they end up going back to uh, Omnipotent City, right? They're basically going back to Omnipotent City to, like, read up on Cronuts. You know, Thor, he's just going back to read up on this guy, like, whoever it is. And, like, as soon as they get back there, this, the, the librarian from uh, earlier, he's just been incapacitated. And as soon as they get there, they look up the Black Berserkers. You know, they set in fire to everything. They're just burning all the books. 
they beat up the librarian, all that stuff. Like he got incapacitated. So while they're while present Thor is like trying to handle that business, past Thor, he's getting um he's getting basically he's basically like hanging upside down in some chains. You know, he's uh he's actually like in the in the hands of Gore the God Butcher, you know, he's basically getting like tortured and stuff like that. So like Thor, he's like asking him stuff, right? He's just like, I mean, take these off, like what like you know, stuff like that. Basically like what you want. Gore's just like, Okay, I want you to tell me where all these people are. Like, tell me where your entire pantheon is. Everyone in Asgard, I wanna know where they are, basically. And and, and Thor he's just like, I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna tell you that. And he like starts telling Thor about all these different things that he's done. Basically like how he tortured the god of torture, which is like really kind of cool. Um, that he basically tortured the god of torture and like after like one evening with this guy, like basically he was telling them where his children were at. So, I mean, it ain't, it ain't looking too good for Thor. Like, <laughs> Thor is it, it, looking bad for him, you know. So, um, while that's going on, present day Thor, you know, he's fighting these black berserkers, right? Him and Shadrach, they're fighting these black berserkers, and he's talking to the librarian, and he's like asking him, like mid fight, he's asking this guy, like where, what, what, what about Cronus, basically? Like he's asking him, like is there a book on that, basically? And like the librarian, he's talking to him, he's like, I mean, yeah, it's not, it's, it's technically a place, you know, it's not a god, but I mean, the book's over there, you gotta go get it, though, it's burning. So, so Thor, he ends up like running to go get the book, right? And like while he's doing that, old King Thor. Okay, so old King Thor, he's been going through this same little, um, this same little trial this entire time, you know, going, uh, like going to fight the Black Berserkers, they beat him. They take him back to the throne and they just repeat that entire process now. He's finally getting off again He's like he his his legs can't really, uh, really work right now So he has to like crawl down there but as soon as he gets down there He goes and calls for like Mjolnir right and as soon as he calls Mjolnir it flies back to him He grabs it and he just lets off this massive just like blast of lightning right so he lets off this uh, massive blast of lightning and while he's doing that uh, present day Thor he uh he finally um like reads up on Cronux while the books were burning and stuff like that and like while it was burning out of his hands he actually found out like what he needed to know basically like what it is you know it's basically the palace of infinity what it is where it is you know stuff like that so he's basically like going there right now so um at Cronux right Cronux is actually um uh being seized upon by the black berserkers and Gore basically you know they're getting they're killing all the gods there basically every single one of them are just dying because they're basically like they need their blood to like put inside this pool for um time travel basically you know so one of these gods Gore actually left alive and you know he actually um he's basically like trying to ask this guy like how to use the pool basically and, you know this guy he's just like letting all the stuff happen basically and like um while that's happening um old man thor okay so i love <laughs> okay this part is actually kind of cool I, I i like this part because this, this is it's actually pretty legit this last shot all right so like look uh old man thor barely alive he's he's getting impaled once again he just got there legs ain't working he just got his uh hammer back he's ready to fight gets impaled with uh by one of the black berserkers gets knocked out as soon as he gets knocked out this bright flash of light super bright it's like blinding all the black berserkers and here comes present day thor we get old man thor and present day thor this is about to be one one uh, uh, this is about to be one hell of a show <laughs> oh my god two thor thought oh, this is about to be amazing all right but um if you're new to the channel uh subscribe if you enjoyed the video uh leave a like and uh i'll see you on the next one